download or update the WKRG weather app. You're watching WKRG News 5, local coverage you can count on with Devin Walsh, Peter Albrecht, and Chief Meteorologist Ed Bloodsworth. This is WKRG News 5 at 5. Welcome back, everyone, and we need to tell you about a traffic slowdown. This is Interstate 10 going on to I-65. Uh, we have a couple of lane restrictions there, and that is slowing down traffic. There you see the on-ramp there where the uh, situation is. Big story tonight, a three-alarm fire this afternoon that badly damaged an apartment complex off of Azalea Road. A passerby became a hero when he pulled a woman from the flames. News 5's Dana Winter rejoins us now at the Summer Place Apartments with an update. Peter, I actually just got an update from Mobile Fire Rescue, and behind me here you can see the building. Building K is still smoking. To get an idea of exactly how many units were burned, I spoke with Mobile Fire Rescue. They tell me about 16 units burned are impacted by this. Eight totally burned, and another eight definitely impacted by water and smoke damage. As you take a look across here, this little courtyard over to unit or building J here, the unit right next to this building. Building K. You can actually see just how hot the fire was. The siding on this building uh, melting and changing its shape because of just how intense the flames were. Mobile Fire Rescue says uh, after they finish putting out the hot spots here, they're going to go in, tear out the walls, and then they'll start trying to figure out what started this fire. Reporting live in Mobile, I'm Dana Winter for WKRG News 5.